programmers, welcome back to Programming Kids. My name is Sari and today we're going to learn about string indexing and slicing. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So the first thing you have to know what is indexing and slicing. Indexing is when you grab a single character and slicing when you grab a subsection from that string. So what are you waiting for? Let's pop into our Jupyter notebook and see some examples about string indexing and slicing. I will search for the Jupyter Notebook, enter, that's the command line, and to start coding we will press new button 3. Here you can see the input function, so let us start first by creating a string. Let us name it as my string is equal to let's say programming kids run a string now from that sentence programming kids if I want to grab a single character you will use indexing because indexing is when you grab a single character so let us say if I want to grab a you will use indexing and by then you start counting with 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So we have to count B to A starting with 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you'll say my string bracket 5. You'll get A. Now if you want to grab another letter, K. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or so the space count, 12. So we will say my string brackets 12. You will get K. Now there is two ways to get that same letter. So let us just grab another letter. Let's say R. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Say my string, brackets 4, we will get R. To get that same letter, we will start counting with 0, starting counting by negative number. So we will say negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3, negative 4, also the space count. Negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, and negative 12. If I said negative 12, I will get the same letter, R. So that's it for indexing. Now, let us see some examples about slicing. So first, let me create a string. I'll name it as my string. My string. And I'll just add some random letters. So the, these are just some random letters. Okay. So now if I run that, let's say my string, I will get these random letters. So from these random letters, if I want to grab sentences, so if I want to grab H, Q, A, we will use slicing. So we will count from H to G. So now here people will be confused. We said that we want H, Q, A. Why are we counting till G? Because in Python means go up, but don't include that number. So we are going up, but Python won't include that number. So we will say my string, brackets colon. We will count from H to G. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, you will say 3 and you will get HQA. Let, let us run that. HQA. Now, let us say if I want to grab LOK. So, you will say my string brackets colon LOK. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From H to L, 
6. So I would write here 6. And then 6, 7, 8, 9 means go up, but don't include that number. 9. Now if I run that, I'll get L-O-K. L-O-K. Now let us say if I want to grab C till H. We'll say my string brackets. So C till H. So we will say we'll count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you will say here 9. Oops. You will say 9. Add the brackets. Yes, now we will get C to H. So this is it for sizing. So now let's just talk about the step size. So let us say my string will give these random letters. Now what if I want to go a step size by 2? What if I want to go from H to A to E to say my string and say colon colon. If I want to go a step size by 2, we'll say colon colon 2. And it will go from H, A, E, L, C now. We got a step size by 2. And you can say a step size by any number you like. We can say 3. You will get a step size by 3. And also if you want the random letters, we will say colon colon get all these random letters now what if i want to reverse what if i want to the numbers from h from h to h so i want the numbers starting from h e m x all the way to back so i'll say my string brackets colon 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 negative one run that i'll get this number back so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to join our family, like, and hit that notification bell on to get notified every time we upload a new video. Keep programming and I will see you guys all next time on Programming Kids. Bye for now.